Okay. Let me, let me uh, pick up on, on, on the other side of it now, the, the politics, because I think you would agree. Fifteen or twenty years ago, Democrats would have been all over this issue. There would have been demands sure. for, uh, for stricter gun control. And my guess is at that time, a president in the White House would have joined those, those demands, uh, as we saw uh, President Obama is not. I want to put up perhaps one of the reasons why Democrats uh, have taken a walk on this. Uh, in the early 90s, the Gallup poll found that 78 percent of Americans supported stricter gun control regulation. That's now down to 44 percent. Isn't Senator By right, Kirsten, that uh, the Democrats have given up on gun control? Well, the ABC News poll is 49 percent say we need to protect gun rights and 45 say tighter gun control, which I think goes with that. That's not, that's four points. I mean, I mean, there are a lot of people in this country who support gun control. And the, but it used to be 80%, sure, now it's 40%. It be, that's fine, but there's a very simple reason that the Democrats are not supporting Senator Feinstein. Bless her heart for the hard work she's Which doing is? on this. The NRA. The gun control organizations that she kept referring to are called the NRA, and they own the Congress. The Republicans, they own the Republicans, and the Democrats cower in fear Bill, of I'll them. give you the last word. I mean, I'm a squish on gun control. I agree <laughs> substantively with Kirsten. You can, uh, the reason those numbers have changed in that poll is originally in 1968, after Bobby Kennedy was assassinated, gun control made controlling handguns. That is unreasonable. I think people have a right to handguns and hunting rifles. I don't think we have a right to semi-automatic uh, uh, machine, you know, quasi-machine guns that can use, shoot 100 uh, bullets at a time. And I actually think the Democrats are being foolish as they're being cowardly. I think there is more support for some moderate forms of gun control if they separate it clearly from a desire to take away everyone's handguns or hunting rifles. All right. Good luck with that, Bill. <laughs> well, I'm just giving helpful advice to people. But, and you could put more pressure on moderate Republicans than people think. It's not as if Republicans from New York and Illinois and California couldn't be, couldn't, that President Obama couldn't do what President Clinton did in the 90s and put pressure on them. But it is, President Obama on this one is just unwilling to take a strong stand.